Greetings, savvy viewers. Are you or a loved one receiving SSI or SSDI benefits? Are you struggling to make ends meet? We've got some fantastic news for you. Today, we've got a game-changing announcement that's about to reshape the financial landscape for low-income seniors nationwide. On September 13th, an extra $2,600 per month social security deposit is coming your way. And then we are here to provide you with all the vital information. For individuals who have reached their full retirement age, FRA, but have not yet hit the age of 70, a powerful financial strategy awaits, the option to request a voluntary suspension of their retirement benefit payments through the Social Security Administration, SSA. This strategic move can have a significant impact on one's retirement planning. And here's how it works. To initiate a voluntary suspension, you can reach out to the SSA through various channels, including a simple phone call, sending a formal letter through the mail, or even paying a visit to your local Social Security office. It's important to note that many of these local offices are set to reopen starting March 30th, making this option even more accessible. What makes this option intriguing is the swiftness with which it can be put into action. Once you've submitted your request, your benefit suspension can take effect as soon as the following month, offering a relatively quick turnaround compared to other social security decisions. Now, let's dive into the financial benefit of this maneuver, delayed retirement credits, DRCs. DRCs can be likened to bonuses added to your retirement benefits and you can accrue them from your FRA all the way up to age 70. However, here's the catch, you can't be actively collecting social security benefits during this period. The mathematics behind DRCs is indeed compelling. They translate into an 8% increase in your retirement benefits every year you delay, or approximately two-thirds of 1% added to your monthly benefit for each month you wait. This seemingly small percentage can compound significantly over time, resulting in a considerably larger monthly check. But there's a crucial requirement to earn these DRCs, you must be fully eligible for social security benefits but not actively receiving them. This could be because you never applied for benefits in the first place. Or it might be because you decided to voluntarily suspend them temporarily. In either case, understanding and effectively utilizing this strategy can be a game changer in optimizing your retirement planning. At its core, the CPAU, or Consumer Price Index for All Urban Consumers, serves as a meticulously crafted price index diligently tracking the average fluctuations in prices paid by consumers for a wide range of goods and services over time. What sets it apart is its comprehensive scope, covering a broader demographic spectrum compared to the CPIW, or Consumer Price Index for Urban Wage Earners and Clerical Workers. This comprehensive coverage enables the CPIU to provide a more accurate and holistic assessment of price trends that impact people from various walks of life. But why is the CPIU such a pivotal player in the realm of finance? The answer lies in its crucial role as the primary tool used by the Social Security Administration, SSA, to determine inflation rates and apply vital cost of living adjustments, COLAs, to Social Security and Supplemental Security Income, SSI, benefits. These COLAs ensure that your hard-earned benefits keep pace with the ever-evolving cost of living, thereby preserving your financial stability throughout your retirement years. However, the significance of the CPI doesn't end there. Beyond its impact on Social Security, the CPI serves as an essential reference point for businesses and employers. Companies often turn to the CPI to make informed decisions about compensating their employees, adjusting salaries, and wages to account for the pressures of inflation. Thus, understanding how the CPI operates not only enhances your personal financial planning but also provides valuable insights into the dynamics of the job market and workplace compensation practices. Now, let's pivot to another vital aspect of Social Security, earning Social Security credits. To be eligible for Social Security benefits, you must meet a minimum requirement known as enough work. The SSA defines enough work as earning 40 Social Security credits. In 2022, you can earn one credit for every $1,510 in covered earnings, and you can accumulate up to four credits per year. To amass the necessary 40 credits, you must work for a minimum of 10 years, though it's important to note that you can certainly earn more credits if you choose to continue working beyond this threshold. Imagine the anticipation of an 8. 7% increase in your Social Security benefits, offering financial relief and security for countless retirees. However, the reality may not align with these expectations. Projections indicate a potentially dramatic reduction in the cost of living adjustment, COLA, with the increase dropping to less than 2% by the year 2024. These forecasts are rooted in February's inflation data, with experts closely monitoring the situation. Mary Johnson, the Social Security and Medicare Policy Analyst at the Senior Citizens League, emphasizes that if the 12-month average inflation rate continues its decline, we could witness a COLA below 3% and even a drop to the 2% range by the third quarter. 
such fluctuations in COLA directly impact the purchasing power of Social Security beneficiaries, making it essential to stay informed and plan accordingly to maintain financial stability during retirement. Understanding how COLA operates is key to grasping its impact on Social Security benefits. COLA is intricately tied to inflation data derived from the Consumer Price Index for Urban Wage Earners and Clerical Workers, CPIW. This index diligently tracks the evolving costs of various consumer goods and services, serving as a barometer of the changing economic landscape. The Social Security Administration then calculates the percentage increase in benefit payments based on the CPIW's year-over-year -year rise. Essentially, your COLA is a direct reflection of the cost of living making it crucial for retirees who rely on Social Security benefits to keep pace with their essential expenses. With interest rates on the ascent, it's imperative for individuals to adopt prudent debt management strategies. Of particular concern are loans with adjustable interest rates, which can expose borrowers to fluctuating monthly payments. Thank you for joining me, your go-to channel for all things stimulus checks and personal finance tips. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.